Hey guys, good afternoon. Yeah, it's yeah 3.20. 3.22 in the afternoon. I just get home, coming from work. And I'm hungry. And I'm going to eat this thing. You know, this instant noodles that is uh, spicy. Yeah, the Samyang is spicy two times. Hot chicken flavor ramen. Yep. Last month, I always see this in uh, YouTube also in Facebook they are making a, a spicy challenge yeah I just saw it in the Filipino shop and the lady there asked me try this one it's good it's spicy yeah and I'm going to eat it with rice not really a challenge but yeah I just I'm just hungry and I just want to eat it's uh, one dollar and 95 cents yeah it's made it is boiling now I don't know if I can finish this all yeah this is uh, made in Korea and this is uh, maybe soy sauce boil boil so basically it comes with this I don't understand anything because it is written in Korea Korean language yeah spicy yeah my hair is long now you see here but in top of this I'm almost bald yeah almost bald mate and what I am I am actually planning to make it long this hair and then braid it and then once it's braid already uh, cover the cover the <laughs> this one this yeah so I throw some water Okay, I think it's Yeah, it is hot from the very 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 start it's already hot <laughs> very hot Yum, it's very hot from the very start that it touched the, the teeth, the, the tongue, you will feel the hotness. I've been here for how many how many years now? 
down. I'm still not used to uh, Philippine traffic, so. Very spicy. We're gonna see a couple um, homebred stores that are actually making an impact in the You know, we, OFW, versus yeah. Filipino work. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, No mate, I can't eat this. Yeah, this is very hot. I can't eat this. Yeah mate, I can't eat that uh, very spicy noodles. I'm going to try this one. Ah, this one is... This one is not spicy, tastes good. Okay, there are still some leftover of the spicy one I will put here. Yeah, mate, I just got home. Yeah, after roaming up around the place, I went to the grocery and I bought this. Yeah, this is the Korean Shin, Yang, Shin Ram Yun noodles. This is very popular wherever. It's an international products from Korea. Noodles. It's a spicy also, but not very spicy. I also bought this spam bacon. Uh, originally it was uh, maybe six dollars, but it's now just two forty-five dollars. So I take one. And the usual egg, uh, three dollars, one dozen. And then after that I went to the Filipino shop because you know they are just neighbor. And I bought this. I didn't check how much is this, maybe two, three dollars, cheese cards. And I also bought two pieces of ampalaya. Yeah, tomorrow I will be day up and I'm going to cook this tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, you know, I have dates here. Dates, this is uh, three dollars from Aldi. Yeah, this is sweet. I like it dates. In the Middle East, this is very popular for uh, during Ramadan. Yeah. And I am again here in Kmart. There's no other place to go to. And you know what? I all again meet uh, Mr. Uh, Spencer. Yeah. Look, this I usually go. I usually come here to look for bike accessories that I can't. I always come here in this part of a Kmart to look for a bike accessories like this. There is maybe something new that I like. Yeah. But nothing. Look, these are the bikes that they have at the moment. It's ranging from $139, $109, and the good thing about here is that they change the products every, it depends on the season. Like uh, these days, is uh, school just started, 
so there's a lot of school supplies on that side yeah like these bugs and yeah school accessories that the students can use and you know there is one I would like to thanks that guy who shared me this uh, uh, barefoot in this store and I'm actually going to take one this is $19 yeah i've been seeing this uh, so many times because i always pass by here and there is one viewer of the video that asked me to buy one of these it will help me for the financial yeah financial uh, things man yeah yeah i forgot the name sorry i forgot your name hey guys good evening yeah this time i'm reading this the barefoot investor the only money guide you ever need so basically this is uh, here in Australia so the writer is Australia and of course yeah he's discussing about the you know money matters here in Australia and to be honest I still don't understand some of the sentence even some of the words I don't understand and that way I try to check it in Google and the dictionary to find the meaning I think this book is good. It's really interesting. Like in this, in the first page, you're going to be excited for the next page. Yeah, nice. It's like uh, it's giving you courage to earn more money and make your money grow, something like that. I will keep on reading this, and I will show you next time. Hey, good night. Thanks for watching, guys.